The Great Pyramid of Giza is the height of a 40-story skyscraper. It's built with two and a quarter million stone blocks, some weighing 24,000 pounds apiece. Blocks supposedly hauled hundreds of miles by slaves and beasts of burden. And what are the knowledge necessary for the construction of such a monument? We know now that the Great Pyramid was built facing true north in the exact center of the land map of the world. Not the known world of 2575 BC, but the entire world as we know it today. The only way its architects could have derived such calculations would have been to survey the earth from high in the air, make a global map, project it flat, then draw meridians through the precise center of the map's land surface. Either that or the information was provided for them by someone else, someone capable of aerial reconnaissance. Some of the pyramids in Spanish America, land of the ancient Mayan, Aztec, and Toltec civilizations, predate even those of Egypt. Tijuanaco, the oldest city in South America, is said to have been constructed by a race of giants whose homeland was destroyed by a great flood. Archaeologists have discovered amazing similarities in architecture and artifacts in Egypt and at Tijuanaco. Similarities which have led some scholars to suggest that these two civilizations might have a common source. That perhaps Egypt was the principal colony of Atlantis in the Old World, while Tijuanaco was one of the drowned continent's colonial outposts in the New. The sacred books and folklore of widely separated lands all tell of days when gods visited this planet wrapped in clouds or conveyed by fiery chariots. Are the gigantic statues on Easter Island faithful representations of ancient astronauts or Atlantean giants? And what of Stonehenge? Neolithic computer of the Druids. The parallel is not far-fetched, for it would take an IBM computer to decipher the functions of this calendar monument, to predict coming eclipses from the complex alignment of the massive stone slabs, each marking a position of the sun and the moon. And more astonishing, the inner measurements of Stonehenge in England and the dimensions of the Great Pyramid in Egypt both indicate the precise number of days in a solar year, which seems to suggest that the architects of these distant structures had access to the same information, perhaps even worked from a master set of blueprints. The question is, why? Imagine, if you will, a single team of architects traveling from continent to continent employing local people to construct navigational aids, great beacons that could be seen from craft orbiting planet Earth. Beacons still operational today. Certainly the most permanent evidence that advanced civilizations have been visiting this planet since ancient times may be seen in these time-defying monuments, a world apart.